Okay, this is going to be my short video on my grow watt inverter setup. Uh, so, originally I started with one machine, added a second. These are the three kilowatts, and I didn't know how much I was going to need, so I just kind of added and added and added until I got to where I'm at today. Uh, I ended up needing to get four, as you can see. So, these two here are on my uh, leg two. These are on leg one of the breaker panel. Um... I am completely off of utility and have been for a month now, 100% running the whole entire house. My work shed that's in the back, which is a 10 by 22 foot long, I've got power saws, miter saws, drill presses, band saws, I've got all that stuff in there. Um, and a big two-story house, we're running everything off of this, 100% washers, dryers, everything. We just do our wash during the day when we've got the solar coming in. Uh, that way we, um, you know, we utilize all the power that's coming and don't waste our batteries. So I've got, it's a little bit of a mess because I've rewired it a few different times when I added these machines in. I wasn't thinking that at first. I had to rewire everything. So in this panel up here, we have PG&E. Here's our main panel right here. So our utility PG&E is up in here, which runs into the back end of these machines to give us power if we wanted to use it. Well, we're not on pg &E. We've got no utility whatsoever. You can see right here. Solar panels will show up there in the morning, and a pole would show up right here showing that we're on utility, which we're not on utility for, for any one of these machines, as you can see. They're all off, and we're on battery 100%. Been on battery for hours now. We've got this little energy meter great tool gotta have this if you're if you're serious about putting this together i tell you this thing i look at this all day every day so it tells us what the percentage of our battery is we've got 80 percent 87 and we've got 28 you know hours basically left of uh of energy at 1.1 kilowatt uh battery bank is over here and it's a mess just disregard that I've, I've been moving things around i'm getting ready to rewire this organize it so it's nice and clean but i had to move a whole bunch of stuff around as you can see i'm in the process of cleaning up my garage it's a huge mess um, i've just been throwing things everywhere so um we'll get this cleaned up i'll eventually have a run going across the bottom of all this right here to kind of clean it up a little bit uh just haven't gotten that, that to that point yet i've been so busy so uh we'll talk about the specs a little bit um, I'm running 24 solar panels currently right now, and um, I'm they're rated at 465 watts each, but you never really get that much. Um, so I'm by the numbers, I'm at 11,160 watts of power coming in. I've got 10 more that I'm going to add. I don't need the 10 really because my average power that comes into the house is 24 kilowatts you know for the whole day um, my lowest has been 19 and my highest has been 37 which we did about maybe four days ago um, before that I think it was 35.2 and so we're pulling in enough power you know as it is uh, with the solar panels we have but I'd like to have more so that way when we have some of those overcast cloudy days we're um, we're pulling in we drop down to average and not be below average so you know they always say more is better and of course i've I gotta have more <laughs> it's like chevy chase we gotta have more lights more lights so uh these batteries here came from battery evo i have to tell you the customer service with this company is amazing these guys are just they've been so helpful had a few problems with some other batteries we sent them back they switched them out no problem um i'm pulling 36 kilowatts off of this whole setup right here these are 24 volt batteries connected together because i'm running a 48 volt system and i may add two more just to give me a little bit more same thing with the solar panels i've got more power in there that i than i need uh as you can see we're at 27 you know 28 hours uh we had overcast a few days back and uh my batteries got us through the you know the whole two days of, of overcast we didn't charge them a hundred percent because it just wasn't we didn't have the solar there um but we got through it perfectly fine we still washed clothes uh, a couple days ago and we washed four loads of laundry um had the washing machine and dryer going at the same time we were in there you know using the microwaves watching tv the kids were on the computers um 
did four loads of wash, four in the dryer. Batteries still charged up. Um, on an average day, my batteries will charge up uh, first thing in the morning. Uh, it takes about three and a half to four hours to fully charge them, you know, if we're kind of got a little bit of overcast. Otherwise, once this thing cranks up and you see this turned to about three kilowatts, it's, it's cranking out power and they just charge up really quick. So, uh, I've got solar panels coming in. Uh, everything's kind of all over the place because I've made a few changes here and there. And then once I figure this out 100% how I want it to be, I'm almost there. Then I'm going to rewire all the solar cables that are coming in and stuff like this will get fixed. But for right now, you know, we've got circuit breakers coming in. These two are going to be for these two machines. And then I've got another one here that's going to go up in this place right here. That will continue or control these two machines for, for the uh, solar coming in. Got a generator backup right here in case we need to, you know, use a generator. Um, so, uh, these are the old batteries that I had when I first started. Those are from a project that I had. That's Harbor Freight. I just ran them into here and I had to splice this real quick because I messed it up. So, this was like a temporary. It's just a little backup in case I ever have to disconnect all these. I can kick those on for a minute, keep everything live, disconnect those, do what I got to do and go back and forth. Um, so, anyways, uh, these... Little guys here are a must. You got to have those. Uh, that's what gives you all your readings, your um, displays everything on your phone and on the computer. Tells you what energy you've made, how much energy you've used. If you're hooked up to the grid, it'll tell you how much it's come in on the grid. Um, it, it's just, it's been a great tool. I use it every single day, all day long. I'm checking in to see how things go. Um, and. If I could have done it differently, I would have went with the larger machines. But again, I didn't know, and I had to just kind of do a trial and error, and I've just been adding and been adding. So these four are doing just fine. I kind of want to add two more, put one down here, and I've got room to put one right there where that box is. Um, but I, I don't really need it at this point. The way that things are running with my solar panels, with these machines, and with the batteries... I've got enough to do exactly what I wanted to do, and it's been doing actually more than what I've even expected. So, um, the larger machines, I could have went with the 5,000, the 5 kilowatt units, and got away probably with just two of them, but, you know, I was already invested in two of them, and I just, I had to go with it, so it's working. Um, I've got enough battery to run everything to keep the power going on these, and, and, and it's just, it's it's fine, but... You know, we'll see how the rest goes. So anyways, uh, I love these machines. They're great. I've had zero problems with them. Not one problem whatsoever. Um, we're running 8-gauge uh, off of the um, the terminals here, as it says in the, in the booklet and uh, the manual. And I got 2-gauge running my power. So uh, the 8-gauge is here, which runs into the breaker panel, providing power to the house. And then I've got the other 8 gauge that runs in from PG&E if I need to turn that on for some reason or another. Um, and then these are the 2 gauge that come off of the back terminals down here, run into all my connectors and then, you know, up to the batteries and stuff. And this will all be fixed too. I've got a big bus bar that I've ordered that I'm waiting for it to come in. Uh, it'll basically accommodate all the wires. Um, but I'm thinking of consolidating these with some other cables that will drop them down to like half of what it is. Um, it's just a crazy mess right now. It drives me crazy, but, you know, it's what it is. So, um, yeah, uh, if anybody has any questions or whatever, uh, I've had a few customers, I've had a few people that have, um, that have helped me on uh, YouTube and, it, you know, it's just been, it was frustrating at the beginning because I didn't know too much. Um, I knew a little bit about, about solar, but not a lot, and especially with these machines, um, I got a good deal on the solar panels, and it just kind of threw me into the mix, and I had to learn really fast. So this covers off because I've got four more, or yeah, four more sets of panels to run into this one. That's why I had this on here. I was just testing a few things. Uh, so I've got four strings of two on here, four strings of two on here, four strings of two on here. Then I'll have four strings of two on here, um, and then that way, then I'll put the cover back up and stuff. Um, Nice units. Uh, the one problem that I did have with this one here was the hot connector. Um, something happened and it, it wouldn't re-thread. 
so I couldn't get it to cinch down on the wire. I basically had to take the screws off, pull the face off, and I just wired straight into the to the uh, main lead coming off of the unit itself in here and, you know, just bypassed basically the connection there. Uh, that was the only issue I've ever had. Um, everything else, fine, easy to set up. Uh, once you understand what your batteries are capable of doing, what the settings are for your batteries, which you can get from the manufacturer, uh, and then you understand the machines, the way the they, uh, menu sets up, it's a piece of cake. And one thing I could tell you, everybody always says, you know, to get rid of the little beeping sound and stuff like that, you go into the menu and da 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 da. It never worked for me. If you take the enter and the down, push it at the same time. There you go. Your beep comes on, push it again, and your little deal goes off. Done and over with. Don't worry about going into the menu, trying to change that, because for some reason it never does anything. I turn it off, it stays on. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it for right now. Um, I don't have anything else I can talk about. I might make an updated video once I get all my wires set up and cleaned up, and I might move these boxes somewhere else. Um, but we'll see what happens. I still have to fix all these wires here. They're just kind of hanging around. These are just kind of sitting up there too. It got really late when I was rewiring uh, and um, I just had to tuck them up there because it was dark and the kids and my wife were asking when we were going to turn the power back on. So, <laughs> you know, it's like I just had to do what I had to do. But again, I'll have everything fixed. Close that up run across the bottom nice and clean fix all these get all these other wires all cleaned up those will be cleaned up and then everything will be good um but i got a lot to do as you can see i got a lot to do so i got a lot of stuff to get rid of and um that's my my rough review on these uh units uh, i guess that's pretty much about it uh, like i said 100 percent off of utility been a month now and uh our bill is down to zero i made a spreadsheet somewhere in here i think it's right here let's see that's the old one let's take a look and see here so oh here we go so this is what we had for uh for march and i wanted to go off grid the first of march in order to uh, have a full month and so yeah on the 12th it looks like we'll be a full month. Yeah, so we're not quite a full month yet. So anyways, made this little chart. I had a couple things go kind of goofy at the beginning. And then as you can see from the 12th right here, that's when we were just 100% off grid completely. This is what we've been. Last year, that's what we used for the month. This is what we did this month because I had to, I had the big jump right here because I had to charge my batteries. We had a, we had a fault. I forgot to do something, and, but it got all corrected. And then down here, this is what we used just on utility last year. This is what we did this year. And it would have been really close to zero if it wasn't for this one particular day right here. I had to recharge the batteries. Um, and that's why we had that big spike in power. But anyways, uh, yeah, anybody has any questions, feel free. Um, not a professional, but I tell you, I, you know, I'm a general contractor, so I deal with, with stuff like this all the time. But... As far as solar goes, I, I had to just kind of take baby steps and learn and be, take baby steps and make a couple errors and whatnot. So, um, yeah, if I can help anybody, uh, I'd, I'd love to be able to help. All right. Thanks for watching.